All right, here's a quick look. Actually, this one's probably going to be my Halloween video. I said something about Spider-Man being in it. So if you watch the Spider-Man, uh, the Toy Spider-Man video review, just ignore all of my weird ramblings about Halloween. This clearly is, I don't know why I even considered not doing this for the Halloween review. It makes sense. It's Halloween. Happy Halloween, everybody. Uh, get your candy. Get your tasty treats. Take your kids out if you have kids. Uh, if you don't. Put a shopping bag on your head, draw a face on it, go get some candy. It's, it's Halloween. You need some candy. Unless you can't eat candy for whatever reason, which I'm sorry. But also, uh, eat a fruit roll-up or something healthy that tastes like candy. I don't know. Dude, it's Halloween. Have fun. Dress up. Be spooky. Do all that spooky fun stuff. I don't know. Anyway, Headless Horseman. I came out of nowhere. It's a Mythic Legions figure obscura line. They did a Krampus. Was it Krampus? They did one a while back. I'm pretty sure it was Krampus was the first one. This one kind of dropped out of nowhere. And uh, in stock sale... Yeah, because they should, did ship it pretty quickly. Unless you're my friend Ian, who, like, apparently... I think he got his now. But, uh, anyway. That is a side story. There's no, Why am I messing with... I'm, I'm still playing with Spider-Man. And I shouldn't be, because I've got this in front of me. It's the Headless Horseman. Look at him. He has got pumpkin head and a horse. The end. He's a headless horseman with a pumpkin head and a horse. But yeah, they dropped this out of nowhere. I've been wanting to get uh, one of the Mythic Legion's horses for a while now. I just ripped his head off his face because you can do that. Um, that joint there. There we go. Let's plug it right back in. Um, just trying to see if his eyes... Eh, the paint may have chipped here on one of his eyes. Looks like he's got a pupil. It doesn't actually look bad. It looks like he's got a pupil. Um, I can fix that. But anyway, Angry Horse... Pumpkin head, sword. Uh, I haven't been... I have some Mythic Leg Legions figures. I haven't been as invested in them as a lot of my friends have been lately. But this dropped, and I'm like, well, i got to have Headless Horseman. Uh, get a horse. I finally get a Mythic Legions horse. Um, and I get Pumpkin Head. And he's got a cape. And he's riding the horse. Now, some people... I saw when the, the reveal video. Somebody did a reveal video for this that had it, the horse... Had a really cool pose on the horse, standing up on his back legs. You can kind of use the tail uh, and uh, get him to support it. It's very hard to do. And uh, I have, I did actually get it to do it right away. It took a long, long time. You get like a cool reared up horsey. Oh, we're almost there. We're almost there. We go. Okay, there we go. Uh, reared up horsey reeling. That's nice. Do not leave that for any extended period of time. Like, it will balance. Like, it's not going to... I don't feel like any of these joints are going to collapse. But it is just kind of tripoded on these two back legs and this tail. Uh, the tail joint is a little wibbly. Um, kind of the weight of the horse is holding it in place. But it wouldn't take much for this to get knocked over, fall, lose some pieces, scrape it up, mess it up. Or just... You know, you just you know, nobody wants your action figure to fall off the shelf and then look weird. So, uh... Like I said, it's doable. I don't know that I would leave that somewhere without any sort of other support for an extended period of time. But uh, yeah, Reary Horse, um, you can have it. It's like some trotting things. And it does have... Um, like right now, let's just have him stand semi-normally for a horse. He's got all these joints in the legs here. You can see all the joints in the legs. Um, I'm probably still not getting a natural horse. Headless Horseman falls off his horse, but I mean, I'm pretty sure that's canon. I don't know how he lost his head originally, but it could have very well been falling off his horse. I don't know. Uh, but anyway, he rides the horse. There's a couple little, I don't know, they're called dingle boppers. We'll call them dingle boppers for now. Right here on the side of the saddle, that if you want to, you can have him, you take a sword, you can put it through there. A lot of the promo picks have the sword kind of dangling through there. He's got stirrups, but it's, he really like, does not like to stay in them. Like that. But riding the horse. Very cool. Anyway, we'll get him off the horse here. You can take the reins out of his hand. There we go. There's a look at the horse itself. Again, I know those horse legs are not in the ideal position for, for what horse legs, for how horses stand. But, uh, whatever. Well get him kind of make, see if we can get him, make him a, little, a little more horsey the sword right there the sword's removable this bedroll plugs into the back of the seat it's got two little plugs here which is, i get i mean i guess it's nice that you can remove it i don't know 
why you would want to. I mean, unless you just don't want the, the bedroll on the saddle. But uh, sometimes when you're trying to get horsemen to sit on the saddle, that does like to just pop right out. So if you don't care about um, that, if you, if you don't mind that just being attached, you could just glue that in. Probably not because it's a Mythic Legion and I don't know who wants to glue them together because then they lose their resale value. I don't know. A lot of Mythic Legion stuff goes for crazy money. Like silly money. But anyway, here's a standard horse. He looks a little flowy mane but that's okay because you can take the flowy mane off. And he's got a standard mane that horse at rest can have. It's a little calmer. you got to get his kind of head up, his head hair over the, the new mane. But So now it's more at rest less action. He does not lose the uh, the weird Wilbur screamy mouth, though. He is a constantly screaming horse, which uh, I feel appropriately uh, conveys the gravitas of, one, having a rider with no head, and also being having the conveyance of said uh, headless man. The sword is probably a standard Mythic Legion sword. I don't have enough of them to know, but uh, it's a nice little sword for the character. Nice little pommel there. Good cross guard. Shiny sword. On to uh, Horseman Guy himself. So he's got a real, like, again, pretty sure this is a reused body from, I don't know what. I saw some friends talking about it. But a uh, nice little, it's vinyl. It's it's plasticky, soft plasticky. It's a little warped because of how long I've had him in a sitting position. But uh, you, you could hit it with a hairdryer real briefly. You could, you, I mean, you can mold that back or probably even just let him stand there eventually room temperature settle back into place. He does have this little uh, a fabric cape, which does have some wire in it for posing. It's not a very strong wire, so you got to really put a bend into it. But look, look at that. I mean, you're getting some pretty decent uh, hold there on some of those wrinkles in the cape. You can also, if you want to just have it kind of fold down around him, you can do that too. But it's on a chain. You can also uh, lift it up. Does it, um, how do we do this? Is possible. Like I've got it hooked under this little uh, care face. His head does pop off. We'll get to go ahead and pull that off. Uh, you see, it's on a support here, a little ball joint support. Um, does that come up? Oh, I guess you can just lift that up. There we go. Kind of tuck that around through there, and then you can get the uh, pull the chain up. So if you don't want him to have the cape, you can take it off. Uh, it's just a little cape on a chain. Like I said, there's a wire. There's also even wire in the neck, so you can either have it sit loosely across there, loosely in the sense of like it's not tight around his neck, wider over his shoulders, or you can kind of bend it around and pose it so those are closer around in the front of his neck. It's entirely up to you. Granted, I have found that even if you push it all the way around and kind of bend that wire around, uh, eventually as you pose these, you're just going to end up pulling it apart. There's not a whole lot of resistance there so as you're as you're messing with the wrist part of the cape it's going to widen these back out but then you just squeeze it back together and it'll hold in place but what's neat here so the head um you got a couple different heads um and there's a this is a specific piece that was supposed this black piece was supposed to come out and it is a little bit of a pain to get the ball joint out of the pumpkin head but you've either got this joint which you can plug into the neck just like this uh, to attach the pumpkin head with. Actually, that's not all the way in, but you get what I'm saying. You plug that in like that. And you got a figure that looks like that with no pumpkin head. But, actually, so, so we saw the there's, there's, a, there's the flaming head, and he does come with an extra piece of flame. You can plug into the back of his head to make him really flamey heady, which is also cool. Um, or, I didn't plug that one all the way on. He's got like a standard head with wider eyes that are not on fire. He can wear that head as well for when he's not actively intimidating people. But what's also really cool is you can take that whole assembly out. And if you want to have him holding his flaming head or his regular pumpkin head as if you were going to throw it at a villager, you don't have to just live with getting this piece out of the pain. There we go. Um, with this empty hole, because you get, specifically, you get a neck meat plug. Look at it. Ooh, creepy. It's a spinal column and neck meat. And then you can just put it right in there like that. Line it up. And now he's got 
his empty neck meat. He's truly headless, which is cool. Um, hands, like I said, he's got these. These are the hands that came. These are the hands that originally came attached. That are not quite fists. They're a little open, and you can get the reins in through the fingers like that. There's a couple of uh, graspy hands. Let's see, open graspy hands like that. That are a little less, still kind of curled up, but a little less than that. And then there is also um, a special hand that, and again, you just pop the hands out if you want to have them. You can give them a more open hand like that. I'll plug that in. And then uh, on this hand, he's got a right hand that also has a little ball joint on it. So you can pop this hand out, pop this hand in. And then if you want him to be like, ha ha, look at me, I'm going to hold my own flaming head you can put ball, the pumpkin head on that ball joint and his head holds it now you can see the issue here that with the especially with the flames on the head is so heavy that that wrist joint just really does not want to hold his head up you can find a way to balance it also it's, it's not attached all the way and uh that's also a cautionary tale but we'll talk about that in a minute um if you if you rotate the head on the ball joint um, so the flame's kind of sitting more towards his body. You can get it to just the, the one, the weight being more along the arm keeps that, uh, hand from twisting, but also I don't think he's actually touching. He's not actually touching here. So that's, you, you see it can balance, but also having the flame just kind of touch his shoulder or whatever. Just the, if you get it set just right, the friction will keep it from rotating out of the way. But that's, that, that just there is still really, really cool. There he is all intimidating. Uh, holding his own flaming head, uh, he can also hold the, he can hold the plain pumpkin as well. It's the same size ball joint, but uh, <clears throat> if you're gonna hold your own head, it should be on fire. This that would just be, it wouldn't be scary just holding this. But uh, really cool effect. I mean, you see with the light hitting it here, that those uh, plastic flame effects are really nice. Uh, at least what I'm as I'm seeing it through the camera. But yeah, like the issue is, like I said, too much weight one side and it just kind of goes right off the other issue is and why i didn't completely attach it to the ball joint um is the first time i did it um if you if you look at this let me go ahead and pop this whole assembly off it is um a sculpted individual hand piece with the ball joint attached to it and if you if when it comes off and i know this um there is like a post to kind of angle the post triangularly shaped post in the hand that goes up into this that it's glued to um, and mine, the first time I tried to take the head off, just pulled that ball joint right off the piece it was supposed to be glued in the hand, and I had to re-glue it into place. But, you can, but the fingers, you can see, are bent and molded around the actual joint piece. It's actually really nicely done. I mean, it looks a little weird when you just have the hand out by itself. But when you've got the, the head attached, it's actually uh, nice that they gave us that. So, yeah, so there we go. There's the hand all the way in, uh, up in that pumpkin into the hollow bit of it but again the wrist it's it's less pronounced when you don't have the flame on it because you don't have all that extra weight and uh what's the word i'm looking for angular momentum i guess like it like but it, but it is still as you just saw it's not ideal and i wish um maybe just putting some nail polish on this wrist because i don't want to stick it in the joint because all the other fists stay in pretty securely it's just this one uh, head holding wrist that really just likes to flop around. So maybe just putting some floor polish or joint tightener, or whatever compound there, because there's something else that somebody makes that uh, you could have them hold the the head without it flopping. You know, we'll go ahead and put the cape back on and around here. And again, you don't have to tuck the chain under the cravat there. I think it looks better. I think the cravat would naturally cover the chain, but you can. Just leave it hanging in front of it if you want. You can have him just sitting there in front of his horse, still screaming with his cool, flamey head. But yeah, it was kind of a surprise drop from uh, Mythic Legions earlier this month, and uh, I'm glad I, I'm glad I went in on it. It's a fun little figure. Um, I do wish that wrist were a little 
better secured here in uh, headless mode. But all the other things I think make up for it, and that's easily fixable. Again, a little bit of polish on on the on the post will probably fix that uh, loose wrist. And and not everybody seems to have it. One of my friends had the issue. I've had a couple other friends who've gotten theirs who uh, say it's not nearly as bad as what I'm experiencing. So it could it could vary from figure to figure. Um, and it could just be that because I popped the wrist out and popped another one in, you know, sometimes that kind of loosens that plastic. And if I just let it sit there with that wrist plugged in for a while, everything would kind of settle back into place and it would tighten around that post again. I guess maybe we'll do that. We'll see how it works. But there is the uh, Mythic Legions Figure Obscura Headless Horseman. It was a special here in Halloween in October of 2022. Um, and again, happy Halloween. Hope everybody's having a good one. Uh, enjoy the day. Enjoy the candy. Enjoy the treats. Enjoy the costume parties if you're going to one. Or I hope you enjoyed your costume parties if, parties if you went to one over the weekend uh, and are now sadly back at work doing the doldrums and uh, getting through your day. But I hope you get through the day. It's, it's tough out there. I've been working a lot lately. Um, it's been very busy. So I get it. We all need a little break from time to time. But there is Headless Horseman. Thanks for watching. Take it easy.